good morning i am devi sena in this lecture we are going to discuss about localization in wireless sensor networks localization in wireless sensor network localization system is a major issue of wireless sensor network the key responsibility of each sensor node is to identify the changes in the particular environment of area certain applications require the information received from sensor nodes with accurate positional information of the event occurred sometimes the sensor nodes may be deployed in in accessible areas like disaster relief areas and forests in this case determining the actual position of sensor nodes may not produce a feasible solution therefore efficient localization systems need to be adapted to provide positional information of the sensor nodes also data aggregation strategies require the positional information of sensor nodes the collected data from various sensors would be useless if accurate information of the location particulars of the sensor nodes is not available localization is an efficient process by which the sensor nodes can determine their location gps is widely used to find out the location of nodes but it does not provide accurate positional information always localization techniques can be classified into two categories they are target or source localization and node or self localization this target or source localization is further classified into single target localization and multiple target localization this node or self localization is further classified into range based localization and range free localization we are going to discuss these topics in further slides target or source localization technique can be used in indoor and outdoor applications such as vehicle or aircraft tracking in underwater environment the localization techniques can be used to locate the large sea animals and ships energy based and time difference of arrival and angle of arrival are the popular techniques used in wireless sensor network node that is self localization technique can collectively determine a sensor node's position relative to each other node using distance the node a self localization can be further classified into two types they are range based method and range free method they differ in the information used for localization range based methods use range measurements while range free techniques only use the content of the messages range based method approaches measure the proximity that is in terms of hop count or estimated distance to a few landmarks sensor node with known locations the methods used to estimate the location of sensor nodes are time arrival that is toa time difference of arrival that is tdoa angle of arrival aoa and 
received signal strength R S S. Range free method. Range free localization requires no measurement on distance or angle among nodes. It can be further divided into two categories as local techniques and hop counting techniques. Other localization mechanisms. Some of the other localization mechanisms used in wireless sensor network are GPS based location, indoor location, sensor network localization, absolute localization, a relative localization, and triangulation localization. GPS based localization. Wireless sensor network localization techniques are used to measure the location of the sensors which are deployed in different places. The estimation of position of a sensor node will initially start with the available a priori knowledge of positions of a few sensors present in the network. Indoor localization. Indoor localization techniques use fixed stations for discovering the locations of sensor nodes. Fixed stations are placed in the area where the location discovery is required. Sensor network localization. This localization method does not depend on the presence of fixed stations. Each sensor node estimates its location by acting itself as beacon nodes. The location of a sensor node can be determined using GPS and this information to every nodes in the network. The time difference between the receptions of beacon signals between different nodes is used to determine the location. Some localization techniques require the location of beacon nodes. These techniques are called as multilateration techniques. That is ML. Some ML techniques are as follows atomic ML iterative ML and collaborative ML. Atomic multilateration. When a Beacon node receives three Beacon signals from different sensor nodes, it can determine its location. This situation is shown in figure. The unknown node receives Beacon signal from three Beacon nodes and thereby able to determine its location. Iterative multi-iteration. In this iterative multi-iteration technique, each sensor node estimates its location and sends Beacon signals to other nodes, thereby invoking other nodes to receive at least three Beacon signals from different nodes and making the node to estimate its iteration. This is represented here. Collaborative multi-iteration. When a node cannot able to receive minimum three Beacon signals, they collaborate with other sensor nodes. This scenario is shown here. In this diagram, sensor nodes A and B collaborate with each other to determine its position. Absolute localization. Absolute localization is one of the GPS based localizations. In general, GPS based localization requires that 
the sensor nodes must be equipped with gps receiver in absolute localization method the sensor nodes equipped with gps receiver are used as reference nodes and absolute coordinate system will be defined by these reference nodes relative localization the indirect approach of localization is termed as relative localization since the location of sensor nodes can be determined based on the relative position of other sensor nodes this localization method is called as indirect approach the relative localization is used to find out the distance between the nodes triangulation localization triangulation is a widely used approach in wireless sensor network for computing position of sensor nodes this method uses information regarding angles this method is similar to trilateration thank you very much for listening this lecture if you like this lecture means kindly share this video to your friends for further updates kindly subscribe my channel thank you